Hey. Hey. Is she coming? Yeah, she's down the hall. She's taking a mean pill with her coffee, and she'll be here in a second. Oh, we are so done for. We are so done for. She, she's going to fire our boss. No way. Why are you so pessimistic? Look at these presentations. They're great. When she hears these, she's going to love them. I don't know. I'm so nervous I could... All right, people. Let's get to work. How are these campaigns coming? Well, we've... we've... We've really been racking our brains. And we've got some great stuff here. All right, why don't we start with this account, the car dealership. What's the slogan? Okay, we've got a plan for this. Okay. We use the sales manager for the commercial. And he acts like he's doing an interview. But it's really a commercial. And he talks about the high volume of cars they have to sell. And then he hits them with with the catchphrase. You can't stack Invoices. Huh? You can't stack invoices. It's great, isn't it? I think it's really catchy. You know, I thought we said it was going to be you can't stack car keys. Well, we discussed that. We discussed you can't stack service bays or you can't stack the sales staff. You can stack invoices. Yeah, but you know what? It's really hard to stack car keys. Who cares? Well, if you try to... If people try to stack stuff, they'll remember the ad. It's worthless and ridiculous. Let's go on to the next account. What have you got for the lawyer? Oh, this is a real winner. Cut your hand on a jar? Call William Pitar. Get your shoe stuck in tar? Call William Pitar. They won! Why would you call a lawyer if your foot got stuck in tar? Well, maybe someone else put the tar there. Uh, Maybe it wasn't your fault. Maybe it was set up as a trap for you. Hey, how about this? How about this? Need help passing the bar? Call William Pitar. It'd be great if he decides to open his own law school. Got a big nasty scar? How about need someone to spar? Suffering from Ponfar? Call William Pitar. What the heck is Ponfar? Everybody knows what Ponfar is. Like on that episode of Star Trek. Remember the original Star Trek series where Spock had the blood fever and he had to go back to his home planet of Vulcan as part of his mating ritual, and his woman, and then he and Kirk had a fight to the death? It's Ponfar. Everybody knows that. I represent everyone. I don't know what Ponfar is. Do you know what Ponfar is? How about this? Have to drive really far? Call William Pitar. You know, you two are horrible. I can't believe I even pay you. What have you got for the restaurant? Okay, we have an idea where we want to make the customer really feel unique. Okay. So our catch line is, come to our restaurant where you're not just a customer, you're a customer with a wallet, with a really big fat wallet. You're not just a customer, you're the neighbor with the dog who won't stay out of my yard. You're not just a customer, you're my wife's cousin who's been sleeping on her couch for the last week. I love that one, it's you're, so catchy. You're fired. What? Huh? I said you're fired. I can't sell this to anybody. These are horrible. Well, wait a minute. We've got one for the city, too. Yeah, yeah. All right, now, get this one. Rochester, where it's made for living, far away. <laughs> Rochester, made for living in the 20th century. Now, not so much. Oh. <laughs> Rochester, where you can't stick downtown ramp garages? We'll see you right here?